Hi, Timothy Younger here. In this video, we're going to look at a package for Emacs called Yasnippet. Okay, so to install this package, let me show you my init.el first. So we'll go down here and let me just make this a little bit larger for you. Okay, so if we go down uh, just a little bit larger. Go down here, we see these two lines. Uh, that allows me to contact Melpa and install packages. Now this is this custom set variables is added by Emacs. Okay, so, and then you'll see I have a few thick different things down here. So evil mode and uh, doom mode line, got some doom themes that I installed, so on and so forth. So the first thing I'll do to install this package is I'm going to just type package list packages. And what that's going to do is refresh the packages uh, from Melpa. So it allows me to find the package. Yeah, snippet snippets is what I think I want. Uh, so it looks like the package refresh is done. So I'm gonna now run another command, which is package, package install. And I'm going to install, yeah. And I look for the completion. So the completion that I want is yeah, snippet snippets all right so i'm going to do yeah snippet snippets okay so go ahead and it's going to go ahead and install that okay and it looks like it's done so let's go to dear ed here and let's go up and create a folder let's just call it test okay I'm going to go into that folder and we'll create a file and let's call this test.markdown and let's make this a little bit larger. Okay. And I'm also going to do something. I'm going to toggle the menu bar mode from frame uh, just so we have the menu bar showing. So we don't see anything yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we'll go to the ya snippet uh, GitHub page and we're probably going to have to add something. Okay. So if I go here and I go on down, um, we want these two lines. Okay. All right. So let's go and we'll go back to uh, Dear Ed and go back to our emacs.d and we'll just go down here and uh, let's paste those two lines, save this, and let's uh, evaluate this buffer. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and did that. All right. So now let's go back here, go to test, and let's create test.markdown. We didn't actually save it before. And now let's toggle the menu bar mode from frame. And now we see that Yas yeah, Snippet appears in the menu. Now, what you want to ideally do is get good enough so you don't have to have the menu and you just use the keyboard shortcuts. But while you're learning keyboard shortcuts, the menu is very helpful. So <clears throat> we can see we have a fundamental mode. But we're in a markdown document. We do not have markdown mode. So that's a package you want to install. If you don't see uh, a particular snippets for your mode that you're in, you may want to install that package. So I'm going to do Alt X and we've already refreshed the packages. So I'm just going to do package install and then markdown mode. Okay. And we've installed it and we may need to turn it on in this buffer. So let's do a markdown mode. Okay, and now we see that it appears in the menu. And we also see that in Yas Snippet, we have the uh, markdown mode. So we have all these things we can do. So we could do a code block, for instance. And to do that, let me just make this a little bit larger. We'll just type, we'll just type code and hit a tab. And we've got this code block now. Okay, so now we can go here and you know, whatever we type in here, this is going to show up as code. It's not going to be read as HTML um, because when you, you can put markdown into HTML, but if I just wanted to show the HTML in say a blog post, I would put a code block. All right. 
uh, let's go back here and take a look at some of the other things we can do. So we can do an unordered list. So if I do a little hyphen here and hit tab, we've got list items there. Okay. Um, I believe we can do an ordered list if we do OL and hit tab. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at a few. Well, actually, let's just do a few other ones. So we can do a link. That's a link in Markdown. We can do image. So I'm just typing these out and hitting tab to expand. That's an image in Markdown, so it shows you the link text, where the URL goes, the alt text. So this can actually help you learn some of the languages as well, which is uh, pretty helpful. Okay. Um, go down here. We have you know some of the stuff. Strong emphasis. So um, if I want to do, you know, uh, strong emphasis is is bold. So the the text there would be bold so you know this is bold and i can just start typing there and you know that's going to show up as bold in the document so there's a bunch of things we can do um one of the things we could do is we could say you know what i want to make a kotlin file so let's do Control x Control f let's do test.kt for a kotlin file and Let's make this larger. Now I don't program in Kotlin, but I know that we can do this. Now we don't have um, a Kotlin mode. So what do we need to do? We go Alt X package install and let's install Kotlin. Do we have a Kotlin mode? Oh yeah, we do. Cool. Let's turn it on. Okay. Cot spell this right. Kotlin mode. Boom. All right, so you saw the menu changed, and now we have a Kotlin mode here. Oh, we can do an anonymous class. So all we have to do is we can type object and hit tab. Okay, that's an anonymous class in Kotlin. I don't know. I don't program in Kotlin, but maybe I can learn some of this language here. Um, closure. Okay. Uh, so how do we do that? Let's do... Uh, just type closure, okay? Closure. Ah, there we go. Perfect, okay? Um, let's save this file. Let's go, um, let's go create another file. Let's create a test.php. Okay, now with PHP, you know, we don't really have syntax highlighting out of the box. Do we have a uh, PHP mode? Um, well, let's package install uh, PHP mode. Okay, and I think this changed. It recognized that I did that, but no. Okay, so we might have to turn that on. And, you know, there's, yeah, so now the menu's changed. And we can see we have PHP mode. So we could use a magic method. And I can just click on these two if I have the menu show, showing. So I could just click on that and get the code you know, expanded for me. Let me make that a little bit larger. So you see it expands it out. Um, okay, let's save this file. All right, and let's create another file. Let's call it test.js. Okay, so we see we have a JavaScript here. We have some support out of the box and we have a JS mode. So we could do an anonymous function here. Let me make that larger. So we see that we have, you know, might get rid of this actually, but, um, you know, we can put in an anonymous function in here. Okay. And yeah, we can get uh, snippets for JavaScript. Okay. Um, declaring const. Uh, we have a for loop here. Okay, so the for loop, now I put it kind of in this, in and out of the function. So it's a bit of a mess here, but, you know, boom, it expands it out and cuts you from typing a lot of stuff. So, you know, if I wanted to, let me go down, uh, go down here and let's like get this up in the middle here and let's just type four and hit tab and we've got ourselves a for loop here. So that's pretty cool and we can you know modify it as necessary but the snippets are very nice all right um let's do a python file so let's go test.py 
and we open up we see we have python out of the box here so um, if we go to yas snippet we have a python mode we also have a just a typical programming mode so if i just type c uh, co and hit a tab that's a comment so it sets me up for a comment in python um, let's let's uh, save this and switch buffers to test.js and let's do the same thing okay so it, it recognizes the language and it allows you to make a comment based on the comment style of the language okay so that's pretty cool I'll say that we'll go back to python here for a moment all right uh so let's take a look at what we've got for python mode so um I think if we do, there's one, if we do P, hit tab, we get print. That's pretty, pretty nice. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, Lambda. Okay, let's move this down. So, so that, you know, we can click on these two if you want to just click on them. Um, let's see something we want. Let's do a... A try so we have a, a try uh, try an exemption here so it's pretty cool pretty cool plugin um, we even have let's do uh, create another file let's do test.java okay and we'll increase the font here and we've got a Java mode right out of the box so um, we can do a main, all right? So uh, saves us a lot of having to type public static void, main, string, args. We don't have to type all that stuff, right? We can use the Yas snippet uh, package. So I really am pretty impressed with this uh, package. It was created. Um, let's take a look at the GitHub repo and take a look at, well, we were right there. When was the last time it was updated? So 2020, so it's still fairly recent. Uh, it's got 60 contributors, okay? Uh, if we click on this, we can see that it started around 2008. So it has some history here. It's been around for a while. So yeah, uh, a good package will help you out to write your code a bit quicker by using snippets. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please give it a like as it really helps uh, get out to more people. And also, if you haven't subscribed, could you please consider subscribing? Apparently I can't talk. Uh, it really does help the channel grow. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.